Hello guys, when submitting the forms, sometimes your users have to wait. So this is an example on the screen. You click send the email and then something should happen on the back end and there are a few seconds to wait until that email is sent. In this video, I will show you two Vue.js components to handle that gracefully within Laravel project. And this is a demo project with two forms. They both send the email on the back end, contact form, email to administrator. But if we fill that in, and I'm using fake filler Chrome extension, the first will load that inside of the button and then return email successfully sent. The right hand side will disable the whole page until success message. So these are two different Vue.js components and I will show you the code how to implement those. In the Laravel code, a typical home blade PHP has only two things, loading button form and loading overlay form, so two components. And under the hood, they are using two Vue.js components libraries. This one, view loading button. So this is for the button spinner, this one. And the other one is view loading overlay for the overlay of the whole page. And in this project, we implemented both of them pretty similar to their official documentation. And let me show you how. So those components each are registered in resources.js app.js, view component, the name and require file with dot view extension. And let's start with loading button form. This is dot view file. As every Vue.js component, it consists of template and the script. So template is a typical template with input, with the model for Vue.js, with error span, and three fields like that. And then there is a submit button, but not just a typical submit. This is how it's used. View loading button with one property loading. Is loading, this is an important part. Well, two probably important parts. Is loading and submit form. And then in the script section, we have a few states, few global properties. So is loading, by default it is false. Is success, by default false. And errors is by default empty. But when we submit the form, we are doing is loading true, which causes this one to change. So is loading, then becomes a spinner. Then there's API call to the submit on the backend, which actually sends the notification. And then if it's successful, then we are setting is success true. If there is an error, we set the errors, which then are shown in here. If is success, success sent, or in case of error, this the if is triggered and shows the actual error on exact field. And then there's the third part is finally. So whenever it's successful or unsuccessful from the backend, we're setting is loading to false, which changes the spinner to normal state as a button. So this is how button component works. Now the overlay. Loading overlay form component has a bit different syntax. So this thing is what interests us. Loading with is loading method. Everything else is pretty similar. So three input fields, errors, and the button, which is then a typical button. So we don't change anything around the button. We change the whole page with loading overlay. But still, we're calling submit form, which is a method here. And that part is pretty similar, right? Is loading, is success, and changing the values based on success or not success from the API. So different syntax, but pretty similar logic. We're importing the component and loading component tag. In this case, it's loading. In loading button form, it's view loading button. So it's your choice where you want to show that spinner on the button itself or disable the whole page. But both are pretty easy to install, easy to use, and you can view the code on GitHub. The link is in the video and in the description below. If you want to learn more about Vue.js works and specifically with single page applications in Laravel, I have a special course on Teachable. During that course, we create the whole CRUD with Vue.js, single page application, API from Laravel and everything around that. So you can check that out. And also subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe because I'm shooting the videos almost daily now and see you guys in other videos.